In this video, we will talk about the defining and non-defining attributes of shapes. Our goal is to differentiate between defining and non-defining attributes of two-dimensional shapes. Let's recall that an attribute is simply a characteristic or a feature of an object. Some examples that we talked about in my previous video were size, color, shape, and thickness. Understanding the term polygon is a very important step in this lesson. So let's take a look at some polygons first. All of these shapes that I'm bringing to my screen are considered polygons. A polygon is a shape that is flat, it has three or more straight sides, and it is closed, which means the sides all meet at the corners. Vertex is just a fancy word that means corner. There are four corners on this rhombus. There are also four sides on this rhombus. Each polygon has the same number of vertices as it has sides. Now let's look at the triangle. The triangle has three sides and it also has three vertices or three corners. If a shape is open, that means that not all of its sides connect at the vertices or the corners. So it might look a little like this. Now this shape looks like it could be a rectangle, but it's not because of this opening right here. So now I'm going to draw a circle. Do you think that my circle is a polygon? If you said no, you are correct, because a polygon only has straight sides, but a circle does not have any straight sides. A circle is a non-polygon. So let's see what it means for an attribute to be defining or non-defining. Defining attributes are facts that are always true for a certain shape. But non-defining attributes are facts that could be true for any shape. Defining attributes are facts such as the number of sides, the number of vertices, whether a shape is closed or open, and if it is a polygon or a non-polygon. Attributes that we consider to be non-defining are color, size, pattern, and direction. Let's practice identifying the defining and non-defining attributes of this triangle. First, we'll say the attributes that are always true for every triangle. A triangle always has three sides, it always has three vertices, it is always a closed shape since the sides meet at the vertices, and it will always be a polygon since it is flat, has three straight sides, and it is closed. The defining attributes of our triangle, which are true for all triangles, are that it has three sides, three vertices, it is closed, and it is a polygon. All three of these shapes are triangles, but they have different non-defining attributes, such as color, size, pattern, and direction. Even though the purple triangle is a different size than our blue triangle, they are still both triangles. And even though the orange triangle has a different direction since it points down and it has a pattern, it's still a triangle just like ours. So for the non-defining attributes, we can say that some triangles and other shapes can be different colors, different sizes, 
have different patterns and point in different directions. So is every triangle going to have three sides, three vertices, be closed and be a polygon? It sure is because these are the defining attributes. And is every triangle going to be blue, big, a solid color and pointing up? Not necessarily because our non-defining attributes might be true for any shape. I could have a blue square or a blue rectangle. We could also have a circle that is big or a rectangle that has a polka dot pattern. That's because these are non-defining attributes and they could be true for other shapes. But could I have a pentagon that has three sides and three vertices? Of course not, because then it would be a triangle. Three sides and three vertices are defining attributes of a triangle. I hope this video helped you to distinguish between defining and non-defining attributes of shapes. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for my next video.